All right, folks, pie guy here. Uh, I had this box laying around for a good while. Uh, so I figured let's try to make a little uh, go kit. So if we open this up, you're looking at a atomic pie and a six volt, 12 amp hour battery here. And uh, I got the controller, solar controller here. This is a six or 12 volt solar controller that can, I think, handle up to 50 watt panel. So <clears throat> if we close the door here and go back, that's where the solar panel connects into, plugs into. Then uh, comes in, hooks into the solar controller. Then uh, obviously we come out from the battery, out of the solar controller to the battery. Now I'm using a step down here. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description for more of this uh, part list. But uh, I'm stepping the voltage down from 6 volts to like 5.5. Zero five volts at uh, three amps. So this thing here is pretty neat. You could uh, set it up to do a fair amount, and I think it's good to handle five volts. I mean five amps. Uh, then if we look here, <clears throat> I have a USB hub coming out because this is a USB 3.0 on the atomic pie then the ethernet I have a little connection here so we can plug in ethernet if needed uh, also I have my SMA connectors and a power switch because the atomic pie has two uh, connections on there for Wi-Fi and if we really wanted to, we have a connection here for uh, Bluetooth also. So, and the Atomic Pi can boot from an SD card here or the uh, internal uh, onboard uh, 16 gig storage or from a USB, which we're just using a uh, internal storage right now. But if we ever want to boot from a USB, we could easily do so. Uh, I might hook up a screen here. I have a seven inch screen, but I can't do it because the battery's in the way because when you close this, it is really close and uh, <clears throat> the screen won't fit. So I might have to go with a like a five inch screen instead of a seven. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is set this up for an AP so I can uh, connect, say, a phone or whatnot to this, then SSH into it if I needed to. Uh, but uh, this would be a good little setup for, you know, because uh, on the Atomic Pi you can run basically about really any 64-bit uh, operating system. Uh, this has Kali Linux on it right now, so it might be a good little uh, <clears throat> setup to uh, do some hacking or whatnot. But you can also uh, install Ubuntu or any Linux distro or whatnot. So might be a good thing for like ham radio field day or whatnot. But uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so. I had a lot of this laying around, so I figured might as well do something with it. So, I'll uh, throw a link in the description for a more part list for the battery, the atomic pie, and this uh, inverter here. The step down, and uh, so on. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another one.